What's going on guys, my name is Mr. Hurricane, and today I have a Madden 25 wishlist video about connected franchises, they're now calling it. But this video is probably more suited to be a wishlist video for the Madden after Madden 25 because we are just a few months away from the game releasing. But today I'm talking about connected franchise, and it's from a player's perspective. And I think when they combined Superstar Mode and Franchise, they made a much better version of Superstar Mode basically within Connected Careers. You can choose your template as a player basically, but what I would like to see and what this video is all about is the process by which your player is truly created. There's so much more room for improvement, and perhaps you could have two options and keep the simple system around, but I want a more detailed system with some more depth, and I'm going to lay it out here in a little bit. But when you start off Connected Careers in Madden 13, you choose the type of player you want, whether it's like a balance back, a one cut back, whatever your position is, there's a lot of variety. And then you get to pick the team you go to, and I'm not a big fan of that. I want to be drafted, I want it to be more of a random process where I go to a team that needs my player. And then you go and obviously create your name and all your stuff, but you don't get to touch your attributes here. That's all based on the template of the player you chose. And I have an idea that kind of incorporates this, but then it builds upon it. And so the process in Connected Careers in Madden 13 is very simple. The most time consuming aspect is choosing your name, height, weight, and the appearance of your player. And I want more to be focused on how skilled your player is. And so we're going to transition now to my idea. And what I would like to see is you basically start out the same as the regular process. You go in, pick your position, your player type, your name, your weight, your height, and your appearance, but then it gets more developed. And so, for the purpose of this example, I'm going to be making a speed back. And with my idea, you would start out with uh, the template here, and you would have already some preset ratings that your player is going to be built upon. But then I would like to see possibly you get to choose two specific traits your player is going to be focused on and I completely erase this feature right here because my idea incorporates the NFL draft and the backstories aren't a bad idea because it helps differentiate the best rookies from the lower rated rookies so you can kind of choose where you want your player to start out at if he wants to be kind of an immediate starter a first round pick or perhaps work your way up the depth chart choosing undrafted but then I would like to see you be able to focus on some certain aspects of your players game in the case of a speed back, perhaps you focus on two specific traits, elusiveness and ball security. So you would start off with higher elusiveness and agility ratings, and then you would also have a bumped up carrying rating. And you could do this for a variety of positions, obviously. For receiver, you could focus on hands and route running, but your speed would be a little bit lower. And I like that idea there because it gives your player more personality and it helps define what your player is more right off the bat, I think. And so basically you choose your template for your player based on your position, position type, and where you want to be drafted, kind of what caliber your player is, and then some specific boost based on the traits you want to choose. But we're not done there. We're going to Indianapolis. Pretend this is Lucas Oil Stadium because I would like to see the combine introduced. And this is where your ratings become finalized. When you make a speed back, what is the proper way to decide whether he's a 95 speed or a 99? I think you do that with traits and your 40 yard dash time at the combine. So say you picked a speed back, it is possible based on your trait choices and how well you perform in the drills where your player ends up being at his final rating. And here is the 40 yard dash I did for this demo and you can do this for a variety of positions for a variety of skills. And let's say I made a speed back, he had the 4-4-1 40 yard dash, that's a pretty good run, but it's not a 99 speed run. That would be more fitted to be about a 94-95 speed if I didn't want to put a trait as a burner, and I had like ball security and elusiveness. So, that would be the more proper way, I believe, to kind of choose how ratings are truly dictated, that I'm terrible at the bench press in the game, but... You have the obvious workouts you can do, perhaps you can put in like a vertical jump as well, a little mini game for that. And then the individual position drills here, like playing running back and playing in a little three on three drill. And what I wanted to originally use for this example was a quarterback, but they don't have this skill anymore, or this drill. It used to be in the older Maddens on the last generation, where you had the, the rings you had to throw through as a quarterback. And that's how you could dictate accuracy. It would be such a good mechanic, I believe. And you could just do a variety of things here. Say I truck three guys with my character in the three-on-three -three drills. Perhaps I'm able to get my trucking rating go up a little bit. 
But there's a lot of cool things you could do with this ID, I believe. And it's really just the current process, except for you get drafted instead. And you have more control over your players' ratings from the start, rather than having one of the many templates they have. I like that they have a lot of templates, like a one cut back, speed back, balance back. I like that. But I think there could be a lot more. And adding the combine to the game in this whole pre-draft process would be a lot of fun, I believe. And then once you get to the NFL, you play your games, earn your XP, and you can upgrade your player further. And so my idea basically covers your player's introduction and creation. And the system, I believe it's always been in Madden. I'm not sure if they've ever had a true presentation for the draft, but I remember I'm playing Madden 07 here, and they had it random, but it's just kind of, hey, you got drafted by the Jaguars. I want to see like an NBA 2K style presentation. I've played my player in the past, and I like the draft presentation, and it should be an element in the game, I believe. I don't like the current process, picking your team or just having it be random and it shows up on screen. And that, guys, is my idea for connected franchise as a player in Madden 25 or the next game in the Madden franchise coming out in 2014. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section if you like my idea or if you prefer the current system. I had asked you guys in a previous video if you wanted to see me lay out this idea a little bit. And so here it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Looking forward to your feedback in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.